In this video, we are going to discuss about loopback interfaces. So, what are loopback interfaces in OSPF? Loopback interfaces are virtual and logical interfaces which are exist only in the software. So, in software you can see the virtual and logical interfaces called loopback interfaces here and they are mainly used for administrative purposes and also providing stable OSPF interface and diagnostics also is performed using loopback interfaces. Using loopback interfaces with OSPF you have these features in it. So, these features or benefits which we have to follow or which we will be having with the loopback interfaces are provides an interface that is always active. So, loopback interface is always active and provides an OSPF router ID that is predictable. That means, it provides the OSPF router ID which is predictable and also making easier to troubleshoot OSPF. So, it is very easier to troubleshoot OSPF if you have a loopback IP address which will be used in choosing the router ID and also router ID is a differentiator in DR and BDR and in the election of DR and BDR also this loopback interfaces are used. Having a loopback interface with higher order IP address can influence the election. So, here by electing the DR and BDR the highest IP address or highest order IP address is used in electing the uh, DR and the BDR here. So, you see the configuration how we configure the loopback interface IP address router A. So, if you are taking an example of a router to configure the loopback IP address you see you get into the configure global configuration mode and you enter interface loopback 0. So, it will come into the interface mode. So, after getting into interface mode, so what we have to do? So, you can see really clear. So, you can clearly see here that the interface number can be any number which starts from 0. So, here to configure the next step is coming into the interface mode and you provide IP address with the IP address and wildcard mask then that is it. You your loopback interface IP address is now configured. So, the loopback interface can be important for OSPF because it is used in the election of DR and BDR and also the highest loopback IP address is the router ID. If the loopback interface IP address is not available, it will be taking the highest physical IP address to choose the router ID here. So, coming to loopback interface, it is logically equivalent to physical IP address and also the router is going to add each and every entry to the routing table. So, that this information of the loopback or any troubleshooting point of view this loopback interface is very useful here and you see DR and BDR elections and influencing it. So, this loopback interface will be having more influence on the DR and BDR elections that means, the border disaster recovery as well as uh, the other borders depending on the areas will be chosen here. So, you can see the multi access network types DRs and BDRs everything are based on this loopback IP address interfaces. So, it is very important a part of OSPF about the DR and BDR because manually configuring it is usually determined how well the OSPF is performing. So, after having the DR and BDR we will see about the performance of the OSPF and the functioning and the best functioning of it. You see and you can see the process how BDR and DRs are selected and this is how a router running an OSPF will periodically send hello packets and to multicast address 224.0.0.5. So, this is the multicast address so that the OSPF running router will send hello packets to that multicast address. So, the area ID, area ID received in hello packet should be same as the router or match with the area ID associated with the interface of the router. So, interface of the router will be having an area ID. So, the hello packet which has the area ID and the router interface area ID should be matching here. Coming to hello and dead intervals, hello packets exchange between the running OSPF information of the area that means and router two routers which are in the same area which are running OSPF protocol. So, hello packets are exchanged so that the hello intervals and dead intervals are configured here. So, you see that authentication for a neighborship to form a hello and dead intervals are very useful. So, when you when you have a hello interval when you have an acknowledgement that means the establishment is the neighbor is established and the connectivity is there. So, authentication OSPF allows you to set a password for the area and also for neighborship to form that means you have a you have a authentication 
to enter into that area and also the hello packets will be sent to the neighbors with this authentication and also the neighborship gets formed. So, OSPF unlike like EIGRP, so will not share routing updates or link state details that means it will not share the routing updates or link state details here as how the EIGRP works. So, OSPF will be having their information in the neighborships and also in the three tables like neighborship table, topology table and routing table. So, by this the functioning of the OSPF is improved by using loopback interface and how it is configured and how the neighborships are formed here.